Hello everyone, hello, Sasare here with more Judgment. We are going to start today by going on a date with our new the girlfriend. Uh, we haven't actually even gotten a message or messaged um, Sana-chan since uh, we got close uh, with her. But now we are with Nami Matsuoka. Not really. We haven't, we haven't asked, we're just going on our first date. Uh, let's go to La Marche and find something for a gift. Dude. Somebody knocked this over, super rude. I'm gonna eat curry back at the house and nobody's gonna stop me. Alright. Not sure how much curry that man eats. Ben just gave me a dirty claw. Yes, I'll say it. First date, we'll get these. Arigatouzaimashita. Oh shit, I need to eat something. Let's go eat something before we go out. That's true in real life, too. I could, I could use food. I think we're done here? No, we need to finish the drinks. A quintessential non-alcoholic drink known for exquisite fragrance and flavor. A mixed drink with fresh citrus between a twist that cleanses the palate nicely between snacks. Ice brulee. Back to it. Well, we're not done with the uh, that place yet, but we do have all of the food from there. So we got the hungry man one. Okay, so our date is gonna be right there. Okay. Where we used to meet Sasha, Sana chan. Before that, though, let's stop here and let's see if we know anybody new. I don't think we do. Maybe. Yagami san. Hmm. Nobody. Uh. Nobody, nobody. There she is. Yagmi-san. Did I keep you waiting? Nah, you're totally fine. You said you wanted to take me out somewhere? Of course. That's right. It's the least I could do for someone to save my life. Oh, well, that's right. Maybe I should give Nanami-san a present. Oh, I have this. Do I save this for... Uh... I'll save that for the next date. Here's something I thought would look good on huh? you. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know if you like it or not, though. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Thanks, Yagami-san. I'm glad she's happy mm. with it. Hey, I'm the one who dragged you out, so what's up with the gift? Eh, would have felt weird to show up empty-handed. Why don't we go on my somewhere for a bit? 
That way we can work up an appetite. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to go? Hmm, let's see. Why not? Can we check out the drone races? I've been researching drones for one of my projects at work, and before I knew it, I found myself totally hooked. Oh yeah, I have a drone if you're interested. I've been a few in, in a few races. No way. Wow, you're into drones too? I never would have guessed. I... I can only imagine how exciting a race can be. Is that the only thing you want to do? Actually, oh. I could go for some exercise. Maybe we could go to the batting cages. Hmm. Maybe we could play some darts. Those are some good options. Now, what should we go with? Uh, how about I show you what a drone race is like? Yeah. Well, that'd be great. I can't wait to check it out. I am not going to win this race, guys. Well, this is where all the drone races take place. I'm going to go ahead and sign up. Of course. Cool. I'll be rooting for you. Hey, give me a sec, guys. I need to adjust some things again. Like I said, I got a new lighting at, uh, at home here, and it's, it's hard to light uh, or set it up on a stream to actually show properly. I'm trying to get rid of the box that appears behind me, and I'm not very good at it. Right. Right out. That just look weird. Yeah, it's weird because what I see on my screen is not the same thing that shows up on stream. I don't understand. Hey, Disco Jensen, welcome. Hello. Hmm, and a little cat is up in spots she's not supposed to be in. It might actually be better. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to... All right, that should be good, I guess. All right, Disco Jensen, hello, welcome. All right, we got a few different races, guys. We can do Simple Road, Wide Way, Northern Canyon, Breakthrough Cafe, Pipeline, Simple Road Reverse, just the Reverse Balls. Uh, let's just start with Simple Road, I guess. Yeah, I have not done any drone races here. I've not upgraded my drone. Probably should, actually. All right, break, turbo, first person. Let's race. All right, let's do this. Screw you bitches! Turbo time! Get on my way, bitch. What's my turbo meter? Hit it. Wow, 
Oh, I see it down the bottom right. Okay. Turbo time. So gaining on me. Hit it. Am I gonna make a good first impression? Probably not, but we'll see. I did it! We won! Got the top shelf screw for that. Yeah, sure, why not? And that was a drone race, you guys. Nice. All right. Oh, wow. Look at you. You actually got first. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm pretty fly. I hate that. Never say that again. Now that was what I call a good time. Maybe we could sit down somewhere and chat for a bit. Yes, that sounds good. We've been having a we've been sitting all day. That and I promise to take you. Out. You can't. They have one free meal remaining. <laughs> all right then. Where should we go? I know she feels a bit drinky on the first date. Maybe I should just go for it. I think we should drink. What do you say? Me too. Wow, you totally bent my mind. Let's do it. Huh? I'm a genius. How about we try this place? Okay. Sure, let's do it. How about we try this place that he's a regular at? I don't like that. See, guys, I'm having this problem where I, I can't set my green screen properly because I keep fading into the background. And when I don't have that, it leaves like this visible box on the screen. Anyway, tell me a little about yourself. No, oh, none of me, son. Tell me a little about yourself. Of course. Hey, what would you like to know? So, what are your hobbies, none of me, son? Hmm. I really don't have any time for hobbies. <sighs> the moment I get off work, I go straight home and crash out. Dang, sounds like you get pretty exhausted. I do. So to answer your question, I guess you could say that work is my hobby. Thanks for the same here. What a funny coincidence. Really? You mean work is your hobby too? Yep, I even work on the weekends. Although that's partially because I need to op stay open seven days a week to pay rent. But even though it might seem like my mind's always occupied by work, I'm actually okay with that. That's because detective work is something I enjoy. So I think that qualifies as a hobby. I get you. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Feel satisfied with life because you're consumed with something that has meaning. Isn't that the best? Oh, Yagami-san. Do you find your job enjoyable? Yeah, I do. I'm glad I chose to be a detective. Okay. I see. It's important to find satisfaction in your job, as long as you're not overworking yourself 24-7. I can understand that. Sometimes it's healthier to just take it easy. Oh yeah, while we're at it, why don't we take a picture together? For old time's sake? Haha, <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, let's see how it turned out. It's good to me. I'm glad that soccer yours is finally out of the picture. Of course! Yeah, thanks to you. I almost thought he'd never go away. I... That just tells you how long he's been bothering me. I think he was really obsessed. Obsessed is a mild way of putting it. He was downright Come crazy. On. He would keep asking me out no matter how many times I turned him down. He even waited outside my front door. 
Like nothing I ever said, I said ever went through to him. What an awful experience. And when I told the police, you know what they said? We can't help you because he hasn't actually done anything. Can you believe that, Yagami-san? I was scared for so long. I'm glad he's behind bars where he belongs. Certainly. So am I. That's why I really mean it when I say you saved my life. I didn't think you'd do so much for me, yet someone you'd only met once. That actually got me thinking. What about about what lengths a person should go to to help a stranger in need? I uh, only did what came naturally to me. You mean you acted purely on instinct? Are you trying to be some kind of superhero or something? <laughs> me? A superhero? I guess I'll take that as a compliment. I wonder though, is that stalker the only guy you've had trouble getting rid of? Hmm. Well, there have been other instances I'd rather not discuss. I'm not feeling it. But I should tell you this right now. I'm not the type who falls in love easily. To me, work is far more rewarding than romance. I see. Of course. Yeah. So playing the whole relationship game doesn't really fit my lifestyle. Just thought I'd get that out there. I'm curious, Nanami Ten. What is your philosophy on love? Hmm. I wouldn't really quite call it a philosophy, but hello, Vector. Welcome. But oh, I just think it's so manufactured. People are always falling in love on TV or real life, only to break up days later. Everyone talks about romance like it's number uh, one thing to live for, yet there's so much more to life than just that. Besides, who wants to depend on someone else to make them happy when you can do that on your own? It's unhealthy. I get where you're coming from, Nanami son, but I still think romance has its place. Well, I'm not trying to reject the notion of romance completely, I just don't think it's a necessity. You can live perfectly fine without it. That makes sense. It's not like you need to need it to breathe. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you can eat things other than dessert and still live, right? The society seems to think otherwise. No matter who I talk to, I'm always being pressured to, into finding some guy. <laughs> Whenever I tell people I'm happy without a man, they look at me like I have a couple screws loose upstairs. Come on. I just want to tell them, so what? I have plenty of other things to live for. Even compared to someone who's in a happy relationship, I still think I have it pretty good. I'm satisfied with me. Well said. As long as you're content with your life, you shouldn't be put any extra pressure on of yourself. Of course. Exactly. Besides, what you decide to do with yourself is an important thing. How do you feel come second? And I second that notion. What's the point of pushing someone into a relationship they don't even need? No one should be that presumptuous. Okay. Ah, I'm so glad you understand. I feel like you're the only one who gets me. The idea that there's this void in your life unless you find your other half is a really contrived and overdone. <laughs> I'm honestly quite shocked. I never thought I'd actually meet someone, let alone a guy, who thinks the same as me. Of course. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you're saying you and I are definitely on the same wavelength. Well, that's great, but given that we're kind of out on a date, that might not be the great, greatest wavelength to be on. Of course. You said you were researching drones for work. What exactly do you do? Well, I work at an online advertising agency. It's actually a startup company. Wow, that sounds intense. I wonder what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot. I will say we're pretty prolific, mostly because of our work environment. We've been even been on TV a few times. It's nice because they let us work at our own pace. Plus, our office is really modern, and you should see the cafeteria. As someone who works out of a dingy little hole in the wall, I'm all officially jealous. Anyway, what kind of work do you do? Of course. Mostly writing articles and blogs, as well as event coordinating. I'm basically an advertising director. All in all, sounds like a cool, pretty cool position. I'd say it fits your image. I don't know about oh, that. What image would that be? Well, stylish for starters, someone who cares about both their appearance and their job. Basically, the ideal worker. <laughs> <laughs> you flatter me. Not that I mind it in the least. Actually... I'm still on this topic. I'd like to know more about your career. You're the first detective I've met, after all. Well, there are plenty of us detectives out there. Cases, on the other hand, are not as easy to come by. Have you ever dealt with any cases that were a little out of the norm? Oh, I've had my fair share. Mm. Like what? Let's see. For example, it was about a year ago, someone asked me to find a cat. The thing is, it was already supposed to have died. Huh? What? You were tasked with finding a dead cat? I don't get it. Apparently my client saw a cat that looked just like the one they used to own, so they called me to investigate. Eventually, I found the cat they described. It had this unique sort of fur pattern, and it liked to be chased around. So after chasing around for what felt like hours, I discovered it was actually the very same cat. What happened was that it wandered into an old lady's house, and thinking it was hers, she kept it and raised it as her own. <laughs> 
Wow, so the cat wasn't dead after all. Your client just lost track of it? Yep. Imagine how he felt after finding out his supposedly deceased pet was actually alive and well. Yeah, alive and well in someone else's house, but still, that must have been a relief. More or less. However, there was no way to prove whose cat it actually was. My client and the old lady were at odds with Man. each other. Then how did they decide to settle it? With a handshake. You see, the cat knew how to shake hands. Really? No way, cats can do that? Apparently, my client taught it how, yeah. So yeah, when he asked the cat to shake, it did, confirming it was his. Problem was, the old lady had gotten too attached to it. After all, she had once had a cat that looked just like it herself. To make matters worse, the cat was the only family she had left. Taking it away from her would have left her devastated. Hey. Poor lady, that's really sad. Yeah, but you know what? The cat seemed to be aware of this, having spent so much time with her. When it came time for its owner to take it back, the cat wouldn't budge. It just sat there purring on the lady's lap. Oh, wait. Really? So it was the one taking care of the old lady, not the other way around. How sweet. My client seemed to think so. And in the end, he parted ways with his pet on her behalf. Really? No way. Yeah, I never saw that coming. But he had a lot of sympathy for her. Maybe it was a cat lover's connection. Hmm. Sure sounds like it. And their arrangement worked out okay? Oh yeah. It was an outdoor cat to begin with, so my client guessed he, the cat would come and visit him every now and then anyway. Turns out he was right. I hear the cat spends time at both houses now. How funny! Wow, your life is a lot more eventful than I expected. Even when it comes to lost pets. Well, shall we get going? Of course. Yeah, I think so. Look at the time already. How do you guys think we did? How do you think our first date with Nanami was? Yagmi-san. Thank you for taking me out today, Yagmi-san. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming with. Oh, Yagmi-san. Did you have fun with me today? The most I've had in a long time, Nanami-san. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad we went out. Huh? Nanami, is that you? Huh? Hmm? I knew it! Nanami, I haven't seen you in forever! Wait, Yuko? Is that you? Who else? Gosh, it's been what? Since we graduated college, it feels like that was ages ago. I know, right? What brings you to Kamurocho anyway? Oh, I actually work nearby. Who's your friend, Nanami-san? <gasps> oh, this is Yuko. We've known each other since middle school. Ah, hey Yuko. Do you remember that time when we... Hmm? Uh, Yuko? So handsome. Huh? Forget handsome, this guy's hot! Like, 110 degrees! In fact, just looking at him is burning me up inside. Ah, oh, what should I do? H hey, Yuko? Get a hold of yourself. Wait, don't tell me. Is this fine specimen of a man right here your boyfriend? Huh? Boyfriend? I have no idea what you're talking about. Nanami, I'm so proud of you. You finally decided to move on. Move on from what? Is this something I should know about? Don't listen to her, Yagami son. She's just a little. Confused. Now listen here, Yuko. He and I are nothing more than. Oh no, I understand. I wouldn't want to get in the way of your private time. Huh? Well then, Mr. Handsome, you be sure to treat Nanami right, okay? Oops. You got it, I think. But if you don't. Now good. Now I'll see you two lovebirds later. Imagine walking up to someone you haven't seen in a long time and be acting like that. Huh. Interesting friend you got there. I'm sorry. She's always been a little on the eccentric side. It's been a while since I last saw her, and she hasn't changed one bit. Yagmi-san. Thank you for today, Yagmi-san. I hope you had a good time. As for me, I actually really enjoyed myself. Of course. Really? Yeah. I hope you'll share more stories with me in the future. Look at that, we did it. We got a 100 SP. Intimacy level level 2. I'd be happy to. Alright, I got racing debut. Excellent. Sorry about today, Agamizan. My friend got totally wrong idea about us. Hey, I thought it was a good idea. It's an honor to be mistaken as your boyfriend, Nanami-san. 
Flattery won't get you anywhere, you know. I'll tell Yuko it was all a misunderstanding. Okay, oh, and thanks for today. Of course, I'm glad I can make it up to you. At least in a small way. Oh, we hang out again. Not as a thank you this time. Sure, as long as you have time, I'd be happy to see you again. We're gonna go with a, 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 another Dante situation here. Nanami doesn't believe in romantic love. Let's continue the main story here. Vector, how you doing? How was your Monday? Oh, there you are! Know-it-all asshole! Oh, fucking hell. You again. I thought you'd have given up by now. After what you did to me and the Kahine? Not once, but twice? I'm never backing down! Sorry, but you reap what you sow. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Quit showing off with your fancy words and shit! Seriously? Suck a keeper! Cause I... am hungry! This man is Kaito Sakakiba, one of the Kahin Four! Him? You let him in? Hey, Kasai! You're buying me food if I take this guy down, yeah? Hey, you better believe it! Steak, ramen, pizza, whatever you want, big guy! I hope you're not lying! <laughs> That mean I get dessert too? Sure, sure! Cake, pudding, anything! Does, uh, does curry count as dessert? Literally anything you want. As much of it as you want. Just beat his ass! Come on, you can't just let him talk you into. Food! It's bicycle time. Dude, what the heck? No, I'm not. I'm a person. when they get super armor. He's a little tougher than the others, just mostly because I'm trying to get around him, man. 
<laughs> well, at least he died in a comfortable position. Jeez, this guy's built like a ton of bricks. <laughs> you see that? There's no getting through his flabby exterior. Now go, Sakakiba. Smash this bitch. <laughs> what are you spacing out for? Get him! I'm hungry. What? Where are you going on, Goku? It's on dinner it? time. But... Looks like your buddy abandoned you. Uh, 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 uh. Shit! Better luck next time, asshole! Wait, that would be my line. Come on, man. At least I killed some time. Shouldn't be too long until Saiyan gets in touch. I need a nap. Ah, perfect time to end uh, this recording.